Hello guys, welcome to a new episode of Guess the Diagnosis. Let us see a case. 11 months old male infant was brought by his mother with complaints of distended abdomen, not taking food adequately, recurrent jerky movements of his limbs, which the mother interpreted as seizures, and the child is also immunized till date. Now, on examination of this child, we find that the child has chubby cheeks. The face looks like a doll. The arms and legs are thin and there is swelling with tenderness in the big toe of the child. On palpation of the abdomen, you find that the liver is massively enlarged. So there is massive hepatomegaly. As you are examining the child, you find that the infant suddenly become lethargic and you check the blood sugar level and it was less than 60 mg per deciliter. So it is hypoglycemia. And then you decide to correct the hypoglycemia first and then after correcting it, you continue the examination further. And a further examination of the abdomen, you find a bimanually bilateral swelling in the left lumbar region, which can possibly be renomegaly, which is enlargement of kidneys. And now you decide to order blood investigations. The blood investigations, on, on drawing the blood, you find that the, the blood looks like milky white in color in the test tube. And on carrying out the investigations of the blood sample which we drawn, there is hyperlipidemia, which is elevated lipid levels, and hyperuricemia, which is elevated uric acid levels. So, did you come to a diagnosis yet? I'll give you 5 seconds to think and arrive at the diagnosis. If you thought Von Gehr disease as the answer, congrats, you are right. Von Gehr disease is also called as glycogen storage disorder type 1A. How did we come to the diagnosis of Von Gehr disease? When the body is in fasting state, the glycogenolysis is the process which takes place. And the last step of glycogenolysis, which is conversion of glucose 6-phosphate to glucose, takes place with the help of glucose 6-phosphatase. In Von Gehr disease, this enzyme, glucose 6-phosphatase, is absent, hence glucose 6-phosphate accumulates. This accumulation of glucose 6-phosphate stops the further progression of glycogenolysis, hence there is fasting hypoglycemia since the glycogen cannot be converted to glucose and this stored glycogen keeps on uh, accumulating. So hence there is just uh, glycogen synthesis which, which keeps accumulating so that we glycogen synthesis in these patients. The accumulated glycogen accumulates in organs like liver and kidney causing hepatome hepatomegaly and renomegaly respectively and also this is responsible for the doll-like faces which cause chubby cheeks in this child. The accumulated glucose 6-phosphate can enter two uh, pathways, it can have two, fa two fates. One is aerobic glycolysis. On aerobic glycolysis, there is increased production of acetyl-CoA. This as increased acetyl-CoA enters the fatty acid synthesis pathway and there is excess production of lipids, so there is hyperlipidemia. If it enters anaerobic glycolysis, that is production of lactic acidosis. Now, glucose 6-phosphate can also enter HMP pathway, which we know is, is responsible for production of ribosis, like pento, ribosis, which are pentosis. This excess products, excessively produced pentosis uh, leads to the production, uh, leads to hyperuricemia, which is elevated uric acid level in the blood, and this leads to gout. As we saw, the, uh, the tenderness in the first tarsal metatarsal joint, which is the big toe of the child, which is because of uh, excessive HMP pathway occurring due to excess glucose 6-phosphate leading to hyperuricemia. And that's how we came to the diagnosis of one gate disease. I hope you guys found this video useful. 
you want more such videos in future make sure to comment below and let me know so that i'll keep making more of these and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and share to your friends and tell them that i'm making these and also make sure to subscribe to our channel made with made simple and press the bell icon so that you'll keep you'll get to know as as and when i upload a new video thank you so much for watching till then i'll see you guys in my next video bye